Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. <laughs> Good job. And today we're going to talk about why a routine is so important for rabbits, and then I'll let you know what my daily routine is. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our weekly videos. So having a daily routine is actually really beneficial for rabbits. It can be especially beneficial for shy rabbits or really anxious rabbits because it gives them structure in their day and lets them know exactly what to expect. Rabbits are prey animals, which means that they're much more likely to be anxious and afraid of anything unexpected that happens. So by giving them a routine and a schedule, you make it so that their whole life is a lot more expected. It's a lot more structured and they know what's going to happen next. They know when they're going to get fed. They know when you're going to be around and when they're going to be able to exercise. And it just in general makes it so that your rabbit can have confidence in their daily routine. It can also be very beneficial for rabbits who have food resource guarding aggression issues. So rabbits who get very aggressive about making sure they get food right now. They may try to bite your hand when you're trying to feed them, something like that. A lot of times if you make sure that you give them a daily routine and you feed them at the same time every day, then your rabbit will start to know when to expect it and they won't be as afraid <laughs> that they that they will never get fed again and they won't they won't try to bite you anymore because they know you're just going to put the, the food down and they know when you they're going to be fed next and of course your routine helps your rabbit to have healthier activity levels during the times of day when they can have more exercise if they have a routine every day where they can get out of their enclosure and get more space to exercise then they'll naturally learn to be more active during those times of day when they have more space. So by having a consistent daily routine, you're allowing your rabbit to schedule their own day and their own activity levels based on what's happening in their daily life. Now a routine for rabbits is actually pretty simple. There are basically four main parts of a rabbit routine, a rabbit daily schedule. The first is feeding, the second is exercise, and then there's also socialization and cleaning. Four. <laughs> so we want to figure out how to put these four aspects into your rabbit's day to structure it and make it so that your rabbit can know what to expect on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's talk about feeding first. You can check out my Diet 101 video for more specifics about the rabbit diet, but the main parts of a rabbit diet are their hay, their pellets, the leafy greens, and you know, maybe the occasional treat. Not too many treats. <laughs> hay your rabbit should have access to all the time. You obviously want to replenish it when it's running low, but it's not going to be something that's a specific part of your rabbit's day that they look forward to. Leafy greens and pellets can really help you to structure your rabbit's day. So I like to give my rabbits their pellets in the morning for breakfast and then their leafy greens as kind of a dinner. And this way they have something to look forward to for food in the morning and they have something to look forward to in the evening. And I do this at just about the same time every day. They'll start to get really excited around these times of day because they know that it's time for food. I also like to give my rabbits a daily treat right before bedtime. This is just kind of a way to check up on their health pretty much because my rabbits will always get excited about treats. Always, always, always get excited about treats. So I know if there's a day when they don't get excited, that'll let me know there's something wrong with their health and I need to get them help. Exercise is another very important part of your rabbit's day. Rabbits are naturally very active creatures, uh, especially especially when they're younger, but even as they get older, they still have very active times of day. And you wanna make sure your rabbit gets a lot of time to exercise because the thing is rabbits are, they're not long distance runners. They don't have much stamina. They're more like sprinters. So they will have bouts of energy and then they will rest for a while and then they'll have another bout of energy. And that's kind of how it's going to happen. It's never going to be straight through. They're going to be active for long periods of time. So you want to make sure you give your rabbit a lot of time to get exercise. So as a daily routine, you want to schedule exercise time for at least four hours a day. More is even better. 
Uh, it doesn't have to be right in a row, so if you have, can give them a few hours in the morning and a few hours in the evening, then that's perfectly okay. But you do want to make sure you schedule exercise into the day. Similarly, you also want to make sure you schedule socialization time. This is especially important for rabbits that are kept as single pets. Rabbits that are kept as bonded pairs don't need socialization from humans as much, but if you want to bond with your rabbit, you'll still need to make sure you schedule that time with them. Uh, so that they can get used to you being around on a daily basis but if you have a single rabbit you it is very important to think about their socialization needs they're a very social species and they do need uh, they do need interaction with other other people to make sure that they can maintain their happiness so it's important to schedule that into your day so that you will give them <laughs> the socialization and interaction that they need and then cleaning, you also want to make sure that you take the time to do some basic cleaning on a daily basis so that it doesn't end up building up. So things like sweeping up loose hay, scooping out their litter box, things like that. You want to make sure you take care of on a daily basis. You don't have to do a deep clean of the rabbit's enclosure every day because that would be kind of a lot, but you do want to take care of some of the basics. So I will use my schedule as a basic example for you so that you can start to think about how you can include these aspects into your, your own life. So the easiest way to give structure to the day is to think about the food and when you're going to feed them. So what I do first thing in the morning, I get up and I feed my rabbits right away. I do this at the same time every day. Try not to go more than an hour off of schedule. Even that sometimes they get pretty antsy by the time it's more than half an hour off. So try to pick a time of day that you will also be able to get up on weekends to feed your rabbit so that you can be very consistent every day of the week. What I'll do in the morning is I will replenish their hay and I will give them their pellets first thing in the morning. Uh, so for me, that's going to be at about 6.30 a.m. I will, of course, also replenish their fresh water in the mornings and bring it back so that they have fresh water every day. At the same time, in the morning is when I take care of the basic cleaning activities. So I will do just basic sweeping up of hay in the area, any poops that ended up out of the litter box, I will scoop up and place back in the litter box. And then I will also do just a basic cleaning of the litter box. I don't do a deep clean of the litter box every day, like I don't scrub it out every morning. It's more just scooping out the soiled parts and then replenishing the litter in the litter box. Now for exercise and socialization, it's going to be a little bit different for me than it might be for most of you because uh, Ellie and Teddy here are free roam rabbits. So they can get exercise whenever they want to, whenever it's most convenient for them. Um, and I also work from home, so that means I can socialize with them all day long. I, I work in the same room as the rabbits live so they can come up to me and socialize with me whenever. So that makes those aspects a lot easier on my schedule because I actually don't have to specifically schedule time for this. But I generally what I would recommend for people is in the morning if you're getting ready for work for a couple hours, then that would be a great time to let your rabbit out of their enclosure and make sure that they get a lot of exercise in that time. Now during the daytime, my rabbits will mostly be sleeping. They might wake up a couple times, but most of the afternoon, maybe from about 11 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m., my rabbits will be sleeping because they tend to sleep during the day. So I will just let my rabbits do their thing in the afternoon, let them sleep, and then in the evening at usually between five and six, I will give them their leafy greens for dinner. And this is a signal for, I guess, evening activities. They generally don't get too active before dinner. And then as they get their leafy greens, they eat them, and then it's time for more playtime for them. So then after this, they'll usually be pretty active for the rest of the evening. Again, it's that uh, sprinter mindset where they'll be active for a while and then they'll rest and they'll be active for a while and then they'll rest but they will do that for most of the evening. I will be in the same room as them and I'll be able to socialize with them and they'll be getting their exercise. And then at about an hour before bedtime, my bedtime, <laughs> at about 9 p.m., I will spend specific time where I, I will lay on the floor and usually with a book and I will give them the opportunity to specifically come and interact with me during that time. I will give them my full attention if they want it. They're welcome to come up to me at other points in the day, but this is the time of day where it's like specifically for them, where I schedule I schedule out that hour so that they can they can interact with me and I can interact with them. It's it's bonding time for us. So that's my specific socialization time, that hour before bed. And then after that I give them each a little treat right before bed so that I can, 
you know, test their appetite, make sure that they are still healthy and excited about treats because that's something that they will never turn down. So that's going to be at about 10 p.m. I'll give them their special treat <laughs> and make sure that they're okay. And then um, I will go to sleep for the night. They're still going to be active for a couple hours. And since they're free roam, that means that they are still out and about and exercising. So that's something that's probably a little bit different for me than it is for other people. Just making sure that rabbits get enough exercise is a lot easier once they're free roam. But yeah, that, that's really it. It's actually a pretty easy schedule. It's, it's feeding them in the morning right around when they wake up. And then there's exercise time. And then they'll be napping in the evening. And then it's and then they'll be napping in the afternoon and then it is uh, dinner time and they'll be exercising some more uh, specific socialization time they can socialize me with any time of day but that's the hour that I devote specifically to my rabbits <laughs> um, and then a little treat before bed and then it's sleep time it's something that's pretty easy to min meld into your daily life and it can actually be very beneficial for your rabbit to make sure that you you create your own kind of routine it doesn't have to mimic mine make it work with your own schedule because any kind of routine that you create is just very good for rabbits in the long run if you want to know more about the basics of rabbit care i do have a free guidebook you can check out it goes over like the the basic aspects so if you're new to rabbit care or you are not sure if you're doing everything correctly you can check that out and you can also join my mailing list to get all the tips and tricks that i send out so definitely check that out if you are interested in that guidebook or if you want to join the mailing list <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and i do hope that i will see you next week